Hi, I'm Brock from the Pet Shop Boys Warners Bay, the Reptile Specialty Store. Today I'd like to give you some helpful hints on snakes' environmental temperatures. Number one is knowing the temperatures of your environment. You can get analog thermometers to measure the temperature. You can also get dual location thermometers that also measure the temperature with a little bit more accuracy and also can tell you the hot side and the cold side of the tank because they've got two probes. The way is to measure the temperature of the snake itself. You can point the thermometer at the snake and measure its body temperature and then you know accurately the snake is at the right temperature. Tip number two is heating the environment. Heat pads is a good way of heating a glass environment. They sit external to the environment and the heat radiates through from the bottom. Heat cords is another fantastic way of heating up wooden enclosures like these here. The heat cords go internally to the environment, are fully waterproof, fully flexible and very safe to use for your reptiles. For this environment, we have a hot side of the environment and a cold side of the environment. I'm using this shelf up here to put the heat cord in to make this the warm part of the environment and then the snake, when it, gets cold, when it wants to cool itself down, can go down to the bottom part to keep cool. And the heat cord is going to sit up here and I make a coil out of it from one end to the other. And I do not use sticky tape, I just pin it down with a couple little metal clips and sit it like that, like an S shape. Another way of heating our environments is using heat lights. We've got purple ones, we've got red ones, we've got white ones, we've got black ones. Myself personally prefer the ceramic ones, either the black ceramic ones or the white ceramic ones. The difference between the two is whether or not they'll fit in the cage. Being ceramics, the globes last a lot longer. Any of these globes that turn on and off that emit light will wear out rel relatively quickly compared to a ceramic globe which will last for years. The way we mount these lights into our environments is to set up like this. We've got a, a spacer here to stop the heat transferring through the wood of the environment on the external. We've got a cage to stop the snake wrapping themselves around the light which emits the heat which can burn the snake. And this whole unit gets mounted up in the environment up here on the warm side of the tank. When heating reptile environments, it is very important to use a thermostat. A thermostat is an instrument like these, which are designed to turn on and off the heating systems to maintain the set temperature. They have got probes, which are water resistant probes, fully flexible. They go under the heat light or on top of the heat pad to measure the set temperature and turn it on and off at that point. In conclusion, I'd like to stress the importance of heating systems for your snakes. If they don't have the right heating systems, they get respiratory problems and a lot of other health issues. And trust me now, a one visit to the vet is very, very expensive for a reptile.